a tree, son, would do the job. I've warned you, Mr. Smee. I've had enough of your advice. Oh, sir, but Michelle gives me this advice. This is the sap that will do the job. Which sap do we use? The gooey stuff or the one with the beard? <laughs> what good advice it is. Coat the hole and just put a sap, and you'll have a watertight seal, you will. Xerxes himself used the same method. Zerk. Xerxes. The Persian despot. What the devil do you know of him? Oh, and good advice it is. One, two, three. Uh, left, two, uh, three, you yes. A box horse is the proper form. Uh, that I will tell gentlemen, Starkey. One, two, three. Uh, you'll pardon me, Mr. Starkey, but that is not proper horse form. Who sends me? You might be able to mend the boot, but dancing and proper form are a gentleman's concern. Something you know nothing about. Off with you, commoner. Allow me, gentlemen, start to show you the right step. One, two, three, back two, three. I protest. I've no interest in learning the trick. One, two, three, back two, three, and then two, three. One, two, three, back two, three. Yes, two, three. Yes, don't you know this? This is the classic box step. <laughs> and good dancing it is. What might you be making? I make the puffing pastry. Oh, my molly smoke. That's not the way you make fine puff pastry. Fine, fine. Yes, Escoffier. Yes, yes. You talk to spirits? According to Escoffier, you must pour the dough in layers. Once. Yes. Twice. Yes. And place your butter between each layer. Uh-huh. And fold it again. Yes. And voila! <laughs> Puff pastry is awesome. Mm. Mm. Oh, you gourmet cook. You do better than cook, son. Fine. <laughs> and good advice it is. Just days ago, you were nothing but a lady come twang. An imbecile of the lowest form, a moon car, a moron, a raffle head. But now you repair boats, teach dancing, engage in cookery. Oh, well, Captain, sir, begging your pardon, but it's not me. It's me, Seychelles. The fool does think that he is wise, but the wise man knows himself to be a fool. Why, Mr. Smee, that's Shakespeare. As you like it, at five, same one. <laughs> I'll hear what form of witchery this is. I hear nothing. Well, he talks only to me, sir. To me alone. <laughs> Many admire, few know. That's Hippocrates, the father of medicine. I, <laughs> from Regimen, book one. Uh, Mr. Smee, do you think that little shell could lead us to my nemesis. Oh, nemesis. The great goddess of retribution. No, no. Pan. Oh, Pan. The great god of flocks and shepherds. Peter Pan, you nitty cock. Oh, he's telling me where Peter Pan lives. Consider yourself my new advisor. I shall call you Professor Smith. Now they're flying to a dockyard crawl. There they are! <laughs> Professor Smee! You've done it! You've discovered the wretched worst secret hidey hole! Board the college! All right, Bluebird! All right, all right!
sick and long bone. The croc was hungry. Better she eat the boats than have us for her supper. A good idea it was. Oh, the croc was hungry, Captain. Better she eat the boat than have us for her supper. A good idea it was. It's me. You won't fuss astonishing me. Captain! Uh, you make a calling for me, your hoopness? My stomach is emptier than yesterday's water vat. Prepare supper. Smee, follow me. Uh, dinner for captain. No meat in water. What I make? What I make? Shellfish too. That what I make. Have audience with that shell. And what a course for the Spanish maid. Join me at supper with your plan. Oh, I think I'm... Eh, Michel! Who has Michel? Who is thy job, Michel? Oh, my. That smells good. I wonder what's cooking. Now I chop shell. Draw good and hot. Me, well done. <laughs> I can't wait to see the Jolly Rogers sunk at the bottom of the bay. I must say, it would be a relief to see that awful ship gone for good. <gasps> the Jolly Roger is still there? That's not part of my plan. Well, boys, looks like we'll have to sink that ship ourselves. Peter! What about Tinkerbell? She might be in danger. That's true. I forgot that. Everyone back to the shore. I'm going in alone. But Peter! I got taken to this. I suppose I should get her out of it. What a wonderful day this has been. My person becomes a genius and assists me in the destruction of Peter Pan. This is a joy I must share with my girl. Hey, begging your pardon, Captain. Do not interrupt me when I'm in communion with Meta. Oh, and how stupid I was. I thought you were talking with your mother. For a moment, it's me. I thought you were becoming an imbecile again. No matter. Have you drawn up plans for our trip out of Neverland? Well, you know, uh, that's what I've been meaning to tell you, sir. And I, I, I seem to have misplaced Michelle. Oh, Fiora! To your manners, your breeding. Michel, who's this for? You are oh, becoming an imbecile here. Stop this, you jacket dandy! Speak to me, Michel! Oh, speak to me! Tinkerbell! Tink! Oh, 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 I've got to find the rest of Michel, Captain! Out of here! Pardon me, Peter Pan. You're mentioning the, uh, the ghost of Peter Pan. Back, Spectre. Back. What have you done with Tinkerbell? You are no spirit. You, you still live.
nothing to you, boy. Well, Captain Codfish, it's been fun. Sorry, Peter. It's a shame I couldn't get the pirates to sink their own ship. It was a fine idea you had. 